Hello, this is Sophie Dawson from sophiedawson.com and it's time for a new year of Imagine Effects magazines. So, a new year means a new <laughs> star of the show and this year we have Dan the Doggy. He's going to be helping us look at the 2025 Imagine Effects magazines and this should be, hopefully, the January issue. I can't remember what the number is yet. <laughs> so. Little Dan's going to let us in. He's going to get us straight into it. Oh, we've got a dragon. Look, we've got a dragon. That's cool. We're starting the year with a dragon. 50, oh, yeah, Dungeons and Dragons. This is issue number 247 for January 2025. The cover art is by Larry Elmore. What do I think of that cover? I like it. It's got like a sort of high class about it. It feels quite, I think it might be the gold font or something. It feels quite um, elegant. <laughs> the only thing I don't like is the shininess. I wish they did matte covers on these. The biggest question is, are we going to get the contents on the back page? Ah. Oh. Oh, that's a shame because what happened was the last issue of 2024 they actually put the contents page on the back cover I thought oh, but now we've gone back to having adverts that's a, that's not good yeah <laughs> but let's get into this one Dan the doggy's gonna get us in I was actually up all night last night watching Mike Tyson <laughs> fighting and it wasn't the best fight in the world Rob gets a kiss little Robbie. It wasn't the best fight in the world but I'm glad I got up for it so I'm a little bit tired now. Look we've got a um, this is the editor's choice paint ba epic battle scenes. Oh cool I like that one. Yeah that one that looks cool as well. Looks like a very nice um, contents page here. And we've got the Dungeons and Dragon Dungeons and Dragon Masters. 50 years of Dungeons and Dragons. I'm gonna see if I can get this a bit closer. Look. Resources there, look. Oh look. Next one we're gonna have um, Aliens. We meet the artist behind Alien Romulus. Oh, that's like such a cool character, isn't it? Probably one of the scariest monsters. Oh, I even actually like the. Um, this might be a very rare occasion where I pref I like the. Um, well, I was going to say prefer the um, regular cover because what they've done is they've actually they put the text in such a way, and it. You know what? That actually makes me feel like a. If that is the, tr I might buy that because firstly you've got a different cover. If that's the um, if that's the cover you get in the shops, it's a different cover. But it feels like a a vintage video game cover or a book cover or something. Oh, I really like that cover. That's cool. Into the FX pose, Vanessa. More Alice. I like these ones. With the fishies, look. These are beautiful, these are. This is nice as well. That that reminds me of um, Arcane. Deborah Sayers. That's an interesting character design. Yeah. Look, there's a head there as well. Like um, it's almost like there's, that's like the um, you know, like when you get scared, you can feel the fear in your belly. It's almost like that's the the belly monster. <laughs> I wonder if that is. A, that's nice. I wonder if Sophia. Look, I wonder if the um, there is actually like a monster in your belly. A spirit monster. Look, little tiny person there. 
I like these. I like these as well. That's a nice shape. A mirror on. <laughs> Mushrooms, look. Griffins. You can actually write in it, Skyrim. Pretty cut. Zoe. My favourite one was the um what this is the thing I love about the FX pose is how different all the art is. Oh I really like that one and that one and that one. It's a cool character that is. <laughs> Little rookies that video game title screen 2D meets 3D how the how the workflows are merging hmm oh cool look <laughs> a massive fish Oh, I like that hat. Huh, look, a monkey on a horse. Oh, cool. I like it when it's like that. Art challenge. That's cool, isn't it? What's your favourite one on there? I think mine is... I like that one. I like that one as well. And that one. I like that one as well. They're all good. Yay! Artist in residence. Eric Loy. Hey! Pretty cat, look. Look, she's got her own little mat. Soft little mat. So he's, look, he's got three screens there, look. Big panda. I'm sure that's um persona. One of the personas. Look, oh, I like those glass cabinets. I like that room. Yeah, it's a cool room that is. Akira. I like that room a lot. He's got massive um, PlayStation joystick. Joystick, yeah. Fight. Look, I love fighting games, and I thought it was about time I actually made my own custom stick. Cool. I actually created the artwork for it. I would like to be in that room. <laughs> the letters. Issue three hundred. Issue of the year, I've got to say that was my favourite issue of the year. It might even be my favourite ever. It's brilliant. What a way to end another year of Imagine FX. Hey, that's me. <laughs> that might be me, I'm not sure. Sophie via YouTube. The team loves... Oh, what? This is madness, look. I'm sure that's about me, though. Woof. <laughs> Mad. The team loves watching so watching your videos, Sophie. It's always a pleasure. Oh, um, that's mental. Hey, Georgia Giraffe's in here. Yeah. How mad is that? Georgia Giraffe's little kiss. Oh, well, <laughs> we got Dan Dan's kiss today. I can't believe that. I'm actually sort of um. I feel like I'm going to cry there. <laughs> that's weird, that is. It's, that's weird. Oh. I'm sort of like shaking a little bit. Oh. 50 years of Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, I've got... 
that reminds me of, um, I don't know if you ever played a video game, Dizzy, on the Mega Drive, on the um, Commodore 64, there was a, like the main enemy was called Zack, Zack the Wizard. I love this sort of retro art. It's my favourite sort of art it is. That's why I like um, Boris Vallejo and stuff. Look, how cool is that? Oh, I'm in, I'm in a state of shock. I'm in a state of shock about that. <laughs> that's that's got me. That has. I feel like I. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I love that. Iconic cover. Larry's Red Dragon Battle was front and centre for the 1983 battle set reprint. Ah, uh, so it was like a cover art. How cool is some of this artwork? Look at that, look. A skeleton dragon. That's cool. Compendium. I've never played Dungeons and Dragons, but my cousin had it in the 80s and I wanted to play it, but well, I think what happened was it was he thought it would be too confusing for me because I was only I was only young then, but I've always wanted to play it like a proper game of it with a dungeon master, Raymond Bermendez. Look at that look. I like the way there's almost like a sort of curve there. Very sort of um, like um, aggressive sketches these. Yeah, quite violent sketches. I thought with Mike Tyson when I saw it. Did you see the fight with Mike Tyson? Because what happened was they interviewed him and when he walked off you saw his bum. <laughs> it was quite funny. I think that was the highlight of the of the night that was. Seeing Mike Tyson's bum. 15 tips for stylish character design. Spiky headlet. Oh cool, look at that. I love that. That is brilliant. Yeah. I've never seen someone use um, such a, well again, like aggressive shapes. This is nice. Go steady with storyboarding. Dan Milligan. Compose scenes using shapes. Hmm. There's no people in there, look. That would make a good video game world, that. What's this? Use the power of suggestion. <laughs> Not really, of course. The power of... Oh, I like that. <laughs> Look at their armlet. That's mental. That's like um, One Piece. Pirate Ninja. That would make a good cover. That one. Oh, I love this. Daria Anako Windermanska. That's lovely. I always love it when a character's got their tongue out. I also like little fangs. You know when you see... Normally it's anime characters with little fangs. I like that. I like the look in her eyes. She seems like a... 
I think she's a friendly witch. Yeah, she's a friendly witch, but she's on a mission. Beautiful lighting as well. Draw dazzling comic covers. No, like, even that's like following her. Hey, they've gone back to doing reviews, look. They actually stopped doing this for a while. Huyen Canvas Pro 19. It got four and a half out of five. I like to look at that little um, quick button thingy. Wake on. Ah, uh, look. Bullius Fit Pro. I need to get a new chair. What does that chair get? Four out of five. Yeah, I need to get a new chair. Ah, I wonder if this is going to be a regular feature or if it's like a, a one-off special. That's another thing. I'm wondering about what we're going to get this year. As um, I wonder if we're going to get any um, specials this year into the traditional. Is that Space Hawk? That Warhammer thingy. Oh, I love that. Look, her shoe's falling off. Hey, she's a giant. The French movie La Femme Nikita released. I love that. She's a giant, look. I'm sure that's, um, yeah, look, Warhammer. A painting of my favourite. I used to paint those when I was little. That's what, well, because I used to paint the little characters, but I never got to play the game because I didn't have any friends. <laughs> I know it's, I always wanted to play the game, but I actually preferred painting the characters. Little figures. I had tanks and everything. Paint epic battles in traditional ink. That's mad, that is. Thomas Elliot, that is. That's cool, that is. At the mid -tones. That must have took ages to do that. That's cool, as well. First, hey, look, first impressions. They've expanded the first impressions. <laughs> look at him, look. That's nice. And that's where we finish. Plop. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. It was a look at issue number 247 of the Imagine FX magazines for 2025. I love that as a starting cover. I like the way actually they got the look the the advert at the back even flows nicely with the um, rest of the issue. I love that one. Well, I hope you enjoyed it, and I I'm still in a state of shock about that. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed it, and I shall see you later for another one.